With us, once again, is the amazing Daniel Berger. And Daniel, you brought your friend. Who did you bring today? I brought my uh, partner, Jean Qualiano, who actually 25 years ago was my boss. And so it's kind of a cool thing that how things come around after all this time. It's funny because Jean and I were laughing and we were wondering who knew you longer, but obviously she knew you just a little bit longer. <laughs> A so, little bit longer. <laughs> has Danny changed over the years, or he's pretty much the same guy? Well, 25 years ago, Danny, I called Danny my chief of staff. Okay. Right-hand man, the guy I could always count on, so he hasn't changed. Oh, I love that. And how about your relationship in your, uh, with Gene? Well, Gene was probably the best boss of, uh, I've ever had uh, in corporate America. And over the years, as I left corporate America, and then just recently when Gene left, you know, I was in real estate and, and was working for a couple of companies and Remax came and asked if I wanted to purchase a, a franchise in, in New York and I basically, Jean was about the time that she wanted to see what she wanted to do and we said, let's, let's go do it together. I mean, so it's an amazing thing with the relationship building that for 25 years we've kept in touch and when we both wanted to form a partnership, I mean, it was basically off of a handshake. We didn't even have to do the handshake because you that's how we- You already shook hands before. That's how we, tr we just knew who <laughs> each other was and, it, and we kind of, we go back and forth. So it was really, it was excellent. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. You already like hit the ground running though. I mean, you guys are doing really, really well. It's, are you having fun? Yeah, it, and you have to have fun. Okay. Right? Yeah, when I was sort of reinventing myself when I left 40 years in corporate America, I said, think of the time you had the most fun in your life from a business standpoint. And I did that. And I thought of the time, the six years I worked with Danny. Aww. And I said, how can I, I can't go back to that. You can't go backwards in life, right? So I gave him a call and I said, you wanna have lunch? The food was always a common, common <laughs> bond. And he goes, sure. And the lunch started and when he heard what was going on, he said, wait a minute, I have an idea. We need to go into business together. And you did. And you found a location. Or did you already kind of no, know we where? We actually okay. built the, the franchise up from scratch. Wow. <clears throat> and so for me, it's kind of like we, we, we both have our, our, our talents, but, and they complement each other. And so Gene was in corporate America of a planner, of a business consultant. And so some of the, the if I have the front end, she has the back end. So it really, it makes the bicycle work. But when you asked about do we, lo we, we like what we're doing, it, this isn't our job, this is our right. passion, yeah. which is much like your show, because <laughs> when we're talking to each other at 1.30 at night, often talking about our clients and how we can do this or what our next day is like, th that's what it's all about. And so you have to love that and you have to love the people, each other, and then also our clients. You know, clients, you, you just work with them and everyone's different and you you just understand if you understand that people are going to be people mm -hmm. and just be open and flexible that that makes it, it so much more enjoyable and rewarding and they say that uh, either selling a home or buying a home or having a baby or getting married or the death of a loved one all those are instrumental monumental times in someone's life so you do a lot of hand holding not just with each other <laughs> not just with your families but also with your clients right it's you, you do a lot of hand holding i have a, a a fun story to share i have one client a lovely family uh two small daughters and pretty much every weekend we go looking at houses and right after Halloween, I got a text message from Emily, the mom, and I couldn't really understand it. It was one of the little girls with a clipboard with papers on it. And I said, oh, you know, she looks so cute. What does this mean? She said, oh, she said she wanted to be a real estate agent for Halloween. Oh, she wanted to be, be Jean's part. And I said, what? And she said she was walking around, pointing to the rooms, giving it to her. So and I horrible. thought, that makes me feel good that this little girl kind of got what I was trying to do. It's at the heart of the matter, at the home of the matter, you know. And, and, you, re <laughs> and you really also have to, like, so, like you said, life-changing moments, your first house, or downsizing, or selling, you know, a late parent's a house. Those are all things that, you know, you have to go in with the professionalism, but also the understanding that it's emotional for people. You know, husbands and wives might not always agree on what they want in a house, you know, with a pool or not a pool or this area. <clears throat> and so our job is to try to be like a, the, the, the go-between and just try to understand where people are at and then try to give more information so that people are comfortable. And then so ultimately, we also have to sell ourselves in the sense of they know that when you work with us, we're going to take care of you. And it's not about 
we're not in this to sell a house. We're in this to form relationships and bonding so that when they're friends and family, when they want to sell, they're like, you need to use Danny and Jean and Remax because they take care of you. And so that's kind of how we try to position our business. And I think another big thing is that we try to be the, the brokerage of yes. We don't like the oh, word no, yeah. because in corporate America, a lot of times you can't do something because of. And we want to always say, what can we do to say yes? And so that's what we try to do. Well, congratulations on the freedom to be able to be a yes for others. I am so happy to have known you all these years. Thank you for introducing me to Jean, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. But before we wrap, is there any tip? You know, they say, oh, make sure that your house smells like apple pie. Can you both guys each individually give me like one most important tip? If you want your house to sell, you got to do, besides hire you guys, what do you have to do? All right, my tip is the house, this is going to sound, maybe sound extreme, but the house has to be immaculately clean okay. and it cannot have any clutter. You have to take all the clutter away and really clean it because people don't have as much vision as you think they do. <laughs> they see it as a dirty house or they okay. see it as a cluttered house. And how about so you, Danny? With that clean house, I would say that you want to be as open as possible to allowing people into your house where you basically nine to nine to eight or whatever the time is every single day that you're available because sometimes people might be right down the block and they see your house and they want to come see it you need to be flexible into allowing showings and that will get more people into your house so those have a budget the, for eating out for a month and just go, right <laughs> so, and, and, that's and, a great idea I think, there you go you can use that that's, one just say by the way we're that's a good budget, point eating out every night exactly. for a month and by then your house will be well, just relaxed we'll sell it yes. before that there but you yes go. but in the cases that we don't yes let's have the budget make reservations exactly. yeah thank you guys thank you thank so you much thank you so much for having us they sound like they're wonderful and I know that they are. If you are in need of either listing your house or if you're looking to buy a house, they're the people to go to. Stay tuned for more on The Donna Drake Show.